Hello everyone, today I'll show you some very useful settings for absolutely any phone. It doesn't matter what brand or manufacturer you have, what Android phone brand or manufacturer you have. You can find all these settings yourself, without any additional software. First of all, we'll improve your mobile internet, which means your internet speed will become more stable. The internet will work faster for your installed apps that access the internet. They'll also work much better and you'll be very happy with the result, because you won't have to spend money to upgrade to a better speed plan. Nobody wants that. So today we'll set up these settings for free to maximize your internet speed, and at the same time, of course, improve your mobile network signal. This will solve many problems associated with a poor connection. For example, when you're on a call and the call drops, you have to redial, or vice versa. I'll show you all these useful things now. Support this video by liking, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with your friends. So, let's start with the first setting, which will improve your network performance, slightly increasing the speed. Of course, there will be a lot of settings. Be sure to go through them all and try to tweak as many as possible. And I'll show you how many settings I'll show you. So, first, we need to go to our standard settings. And here we are looking for the option about the phone or phone information. Now I'm showing you a Xiaomi phone. If you have a different phone, it will be there too. Look, I'm going here, and here we are interested in the MI version. This is the version of our firmware. If you have a Samsung or other models, you need to go to phone information and find the build number. Next, in this line, you need to quickly press 5 or 7 times. The first time you try, you will be congratulated and informed that you are now a developer. If you have done this before, you will be told that you don't need to do this again because you are already a developer. Then you can exit this menu and return to our standard settings. Here we are looking for another option called additional settings. Here it is, let's go here. At the very bottom, you'll see the developer options we just enabled. If you have a Samsung phone, find the system section. In the system section, you'll find the same developer options. Let's go there, there's no search option here. You need to find an important feature that's usually disabled. This feature is called Limit Wi Fi Requests. It reduces battery drain, so we'll enable this option and go back. Essentially, we don't need anything else for the internet. Let's go back to our default settings and go to the S card and mobile network settings. That's it. And if you have a dual SIM phone and two S cards in your phone, select the S card on which we'll be improving our mobile internet. For example, I only have one S card so I'll go to that one. Look, I also have an additional feature enabled for improving voice call quality using Volti. Some phones already have this, but it may be disabled. So just enable it. If you don't know how to activate this particular feature, I'll quickly show you now. We need to use our phone book, which is where we dial numbers. It doesn't matter if it's the default one or the one downloaded from the Google Play Store. Go to it. This is where we dial the number. Enter this code asterisk hashtag asterisk hash 86.583. Hashtag asterisk now I'll press the star. Notice that it says call X. Don't press it, just press the star. And you'll see that it says enable at the end. Now let's check our settings. Go to our default settings. Go back to the S card and mobile network settings and click on our SM card. You'll see that this feature was here before, but now it's not. So many phones simply don't have this feature. This means that you go here and you have an empty menu, like mine. You just need to activate it. So what do you need to do to do this? Just enter the code again, star hashtag star 86.583. Star hashtag. And now I'll press the star again. Pay attention to what's written. Press the star. It says what you want. And now we're going back. You see that it appeared. It just appeared in front of you. Sometimes it appears, and thus it's disabled, but this line already exists. Which is good, or it will be activated immediately. Now let's continue. We're completely exiting. Now I'll show you the settings you need to make next. These are important settings that also need to be adjusted to improve your phone's reception and make the internet faster. Let's go back to our standard settings. Let's go back to the SIM card and mobile network settings. 
Here we'll again press our SIM card, which we'll improve. And here we're interested in the basic access point settings. On some phones, this may not be written, and on some, it may just be APN. In any case, you'll find it. Go here. Find someone who's doing this for the first time. This field may be empty. How so? Don't worry, just create new settings. You'll see there's a plus sign at the bottom, new APN. Click on it, and you'll get a menu like this. It's possible that when you click on APN, it'll already be filled in. It's possible that not. So, if you're starting from scratch, you'll need to fill in the name, username, and everything else. Any values, any name, any settings you need to configure from scratch. For example, the authentication type is set to NAN. Click on that line and set it to chat. If something is already filled in here, just double check and change it if necessary. Then click on the type field, and you need to enter this default name. Click OK, and you'll see it appear at the bottom. Then, the protocol should be set to IPv46. We've reached the channels section. You'll see it says, Note Select. Uncheck it and set it to Auto. Do the same for the other values until you get to the APN type. If your phone also supports 5G and if these networks are available to you, you can activate the NR button. For example, my phone doesn't support it, so I'll press OK. So, all these communication channels are at the bottom. Now you need to edit and save them. Click Save again. It says you need to enter a name, but this is only for the first time you register. The name isn't set, so enter any name. Click Save. Now we've saved the settings. And don't worry, all these settings will significantly improve your connection.